In this video clip, I'm going to show you how to take the orthographic drawing that we completed in the first video, and I'm going to show you how to take that and create a layout drawing using SketchUp Layout, or Trimble Layout, whatever you want to call it. We will be using the 2013 version of SketchUp, and we will be using the 2013 version of Layout. So now is a good time to find those on in your Start menu. So go to the Start menu, and you're going to look for App V Testing, or in some cases if it's not in testing anymore it might actually show up in my applications so you need to at this time look for SketchUp open SketchUp 2013 and this is what you will see you want to make sure that you open your file through SketchUp 2013 and remember that after you save this file if you save this file it will no longer be accessible in 2008 or in SketchUp 8 unless when you go into the saving options you change the model to version 8. Okay, So that is a disclaimer at this time. Make sure that if you are saving in 2013, uh, you will no longer be able to access it unless you change the version to 8. Okay, It's not backwards compatible. So now we have the orthographic drawing open on the screen, and we're ready to export this geometry to the layout program. So how will I do that? There's actually a simple button here which will actually send the entire sketch to layout and I can set it up in layout. So click on that button SketchUp Pro 2013 layout will appear and you'll see some template windows that pop up uh, and we're going to go and expand and hit paper, expand that as well, we're going to change it to graph paper. We're then going to letter, landscape, and divisions of four hit open and there it is. It's actually pulled right in. Now it's not exactly the way that we want it to be, so we need to change some things. So click on the model so that it has these little arrows on, or arrowheads on either side or all corners. And we're then going to go over to our default tray and we're going to look for some things that we need. So I'm going to actually go into first going into the actual SketchUp model and I want to change it to ortho. I need to change the scale. This current scale is set. We want to change it to full size. Okay. And we are only really printing just the truss. So we're going to actually move that in just a moment. Change it from raster to vector. Hit OK. And then go into styles and get rid of the background because we no longer need the background because it's not going to print anyways. Okay, so let's move this around so that the truss is in the center. Then I'm going to use the arrows whenever I go around and resize. I want to make sure that all of the truss is visible. And then I'm going to get rid of and move down towards the truss so that all I see is just the truss. So there is just the truss. And I can actually bring that out a little bit more. That's fine. There is just the truss. We can move it to the middle so that it's right in the middle of our drawing. Next thing that I would like to do is I would like to dimension this drawing. So I'm going to take my dimensioning toolbar or the dimensioning icon, click on it once, and then go to dimension styles and make sure that the feature shows up in the center of the dimension line. And we want to make sure that the scale is set to, we don't want to go any smaller than an eighth of an inch. Okay, now let's go from here to here to measure the height of the, or not the height, I'm sorry the length of the top of the truss then we're going to measure we're going to measure from this endpoint click once on this endpoint click on the second endpoint this is the distance that the length the length distance of the actual deck itself and we're going to get the height by clicking on the first endpoint and the second endpoint and then move it over to the side okay so that you have a two inches in height six inches in the width of the top of the bridge and 10 inches for the length of the bottom of the bridge or in this case these are the dimensions of the truss so this is all we're going to need to print um, the only thing that you could add is your name and the class period anywhere on the drawing so I'm just going to type out Mr. Bechtel period 4 because we are essentially just going to be cutting this out and building our bridges directly on top of the layout drawing since this is now going to be printed in full scale. So in order to print, I'm going to go to File, Page Setup, and we just want to check out things. We want to make sure that the paper size is letter. If you're looking at the tutorial, 
it might have told you to change it to legal. We are no longer doing that, so make sure it's on letter. Hit OK. Then go to File, Print Preview. Let's see what it looks like. Looks good to me. OK, let's go back and then File, Print. And make sure that you cl uh, correctly select the printer. That's Lab 165. Hit Print. And your drawing will now be sent to the printer. And this drawing can then be used for the actual bridge construction, or in this case, we're building just the truss of the bridge. So that is the end of this video clip, and once again, this was how, these were the steps for how to create the layout drawing using SketchUp Layout.